That's all for today's training. When you get back to HQ, be sure to inspect your equipment. Hmm? Hey, whose stomach is growling? Jeez, someone here is far too lax. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, it was Fifi. Such a shameful display. Ever so sorry. Princess! Did she just collapse in hunger? Are you serious? Stand back, all of you! Give her room! Huh? What the deuce are you? Fifi? Is that coming from her stomach? It's happening again. What do you mean, again? Princess! Whenever Ophelia gets too hungry, she... loses control. In all my time as her bodyguard, I've never seen her like this. Something tells me she's never gone hungry in the palace. Since joining the military, she must have started rationing her meals like a normal soldier would. But now she's at her limit. It looks like she's in pain. She must be holding it back by sheer force of will. But the moment she loses control, she'll go on a rampage. This happened more than once back at the Institute. Captain Gronkare is trembling. Just what kind of hell did he see? I need to do something, now. Wait here with Ophelia. If it starts, do whatever it takes to stop her. Where are you going? What are we supposed to do now? Odds, Bodkin! Running away without a word? That is why commoners make me so... That's why I can't stand him! Why don't you give her some of your bread rations, Helena? Maybe that'll tide her over. Good idea. Here, Princess, eat up! No, don't! Oh. <laughs> ah! What the? Why is she in more pain? Idiot! You'll only provoke an empty stomach when you feed it partially. That only made her hungrier. What do we do? What do we do? I guess we just wait for the captain. I wonder what he plans to do. Ah, oh, my apologies. We just sold out a few minutes ago. Well, can't you make some more? I'm afraid not. Already cleaned out the oven for the day. Please, I have to have it. Sorry, mister. No can do. Is this... is this it? The captain said to stop her no matter what. I know. Let's talk about all the good times we've shared. I see. Appeal to her reason with the memories we've shared together. Okay. Remember that time we went toe-to-toe -to -toe in a pastry-eating contest at my cafe, princess? Fifi, think about the first time we had tea and cake. Do you recall how I asked you out to dine in some fine meats, princess? Um, uh, the milk we had after training sure hit the spot, right? Hey, don't all those memories involve food? Everything you've just said is having the opposite effect. B -b but we all bonded with Fifi by watching her chow down! Those sounds aren't normal. Things are looking grim, First Sergeant. <sighs> Whatever you're doing, Captain, make it quick. Please, I'm begging you. Isn't there something you can do? Don't be unreasonable. Can't you come back tomorrow? No, she needs it now! Then why don't you go to a different restaurant? It has to be from here. Please, I'll do anything. What is this? I don't even... Oh, I know. Remember how we really got into our chat about those impromptu gourmet dishes you can get at camp? Or when I talked about how the main force's provisions were terrible, your highness reassessed the military's policies. I was so touched! Remember eating snacks together at night? 
Keeping it a secret from Godot and Bridget? Um, one time you sent a lot of snacks to my students. Hey, your stories are all about food too. You better get back fast, Captain! I already told you, my hands are tied. Get out of here, you- Now hold on there. Uh, boss. I heard what's going on. I remember you, Sonny. You used to come here all the time. You were still a student. There's some reason for all this ruckus? <sighs> well, it is what it is. Fire up the oven. What? Are, are you serious? If it's gotta be us, it's gotta be us. Let's get cooking. Thank you. I mean your debt. What do we do? The princess's stomach hasn't settled down at all. At this rate, the rampage... Princess, stop! I've never felt so powerless as your bodyguard. I can't even feed you when you need it most. Please, your highness, hold yourself together. Please! Good dough. She's coming too. I... <sighs> Fifi? <sighs> she looks even more famished. Is she going to make it? Maybe she held out for as long as she could. Oh no! It is fine. Tis better than causing everyone trouble. No trouble! Being a little piggy is what makes you special. I love the face you make when you pork out in a tasty treat. Yeah, that's right. You eat things so cheerfully. When your highness eats food so happily, you seem like a normal girl. Before I realized it, I felt closer to you. Let's eat delicious dishes together again! Fifi! Yes, let us eat everyone. Fifi! This can't be happening. Sorry I took so long. Captain! Fifi's! Fifi's! Is that a kebab? You took all this time and only brought back a kebab? There's no way the void in her stomach can be filled by a... Wait, I'm sure the captain knows what he's doing. Delicious. She's alive again! Fifi! Captain, what is in that kebab? How could it possibly fill her up from just one bite? That's Ophelia's favorite food. Since her institute days. And like Gronk here. What are you eating there all by yourself? It's a kebab. Kebab? It's just meat wrapped in pita. Nothing special. On the contrary, tis the first time I have heard of it. You want some? My! Are you positive? Thank you! Mmm! Mmm! Delicious! It's cheap eats. I'm sure you've had much better back in the palace. Nay, I say. Never have I tasted a delicacy so divine. Mmm! Mmm! Ever since, the kebab's the only thing that stops her rampages. I guess she really liked it. I didn't know she had a favorite food. Is that where you went, Captain? To buy this? Yeah. For whatever reason, it has to be a kebab from the same place I got them back in school. Had to get the manager to jump through hoops for this. I can't believe it. Everyone, I am terribly sorry. I cannot believe I caused so much trouble. No worries. At least you're okay now. Yeah, and don't push yourself so hard. If you're hungry, just tell us, okay? But of course, 
I shall remember everyone's kind words for the rest of my days. Well, now that that's settled, why don't we go to Cafe Anderson? After all this craziness, I'm hungry too. Don't even think about going on a rampage, got it? I won't. It seems I've caused you trouble again, Amlet. My apologies. I did try to be careful after we graduated. I'm used to it. I just can't believe that's still your favorite food. You're an odd woman. What can I say? The kebab you fed me truly was that tasty. Hey, Ophelia. Hmm? You got some on your mouth. Oh my, thank you. I told you before, you gotta keep your appearance up. You're a princess after all. Honestly, those two. Good grief. <laughs> it's so natural to them, there's not a damn thing we can say about it. Huh? huh? 